Hey, what's up guys? Customs here, back with another video, and today we are going to be talking about how to improve on controller, so let's just get straight into it. Let's go! We see the hype outside, right from the house, uh, took it straight from outside. Okay guys, so tip number one is grind solo arenas. I can't stress this enough. Grinding solo arenas is going to teach you so much. It's going to make you a better player in so many ways. And I just can't tell you guys enough that you need to grind solo arena. Look up a bunch of drop spot videos. You'll get a good drop spot and just grind it out for maybe an hour. VOD review for 15 minutes. Take a break and get back into grinding. I'm telling you, you'll thank me later. Okay, so tip number two is to use a low dead zone. When your dead zone is higher, your aim assist doesn't act as well as it would if it was lower. So, I just want you to get you guys to test this out. Try putting on a high dead zone and have your friend just jump in front of your crosshair. And you'll see that it doesn't drag at all, but when you have a low dead zone, just take your hands off your controller, have your friend jump in front of your crosshair, and it just, like, your crosshair just follows them. Just have a low dead zone. I recommend 5% look stick dead zone. So tip number three is find a good edit course and make a schedule around that edit course because editing is a very hard aspect of controller just considering you don't have as much freedom with your arms as you do on keyboard and mouse. So that's what makes editing really hard on controller. But with a little bit of practice, you can get really good at editing on controller. So as long as you're just constantly practicing your editing and grinding those, your editing will be good. I'll throw up a good edit course code on screen right now. So just like pause the video, feel free to just type it in and go practice. Tip number four is always carry an SMG. You need an SMG as a controller player considering how strong aim assist can be at times. An SMG is a key part of being on a controller because once you get into somebody's box with an SMG, there's nothing they can do about it. So just make sure that you, you're always carrying an SMG on you in late game, early game, mid game, whatever, it doesn't matter, just always have an SMG. Oh, and on the topic of SMGs, always remember that if you see somebody with Brutus's minigun or Midas's drum gun, to go after them, because if you get that weapon, the game's basically over if you're on a controller. Tip number five for improving on controller is make sure that you have custom keybind set up. Um, I recommend having left stick as your edit, but it's all personal preference. But basically what having left stick as your edit does, it makes it so that you can edit while you're moving. All you do is just press down your left stick and it makes tunneling much easier and just things like that, like wall edits. So I recommend just having custom keybinds so tip number six all comes down to personal preference but i recommend always having a tactical shotgun over a pump shotgun because pump shotguns are way more rewarding with accuracy and on controller it can be really hard to aim with a shotgun so tactical shotguns are rapid fire shotguns unlike the pump that takes a little while in between shots so i recommend having a tactical shotgun just because it would make your gameplay much smoother and easier to hit your shots with your shotgun. Tip number seven is a very crucial tip to becoming a top controller player, is to always be practicing your aim and aim courses. I'll put a code up on screen right now, so feel free to pause the video, practice, but your aim is a very crucial part in whether or not you're good on controller, just because aim assist will definitely help but you also wanna have good aim. It's not like aim assist is everything, like some pros make it out to be. Yeah, so you just always wanna be practicing your aim because it's such a crucial thing in Fortnite. So tip number eight is to learn simple high ground retakes and throw in things like Thwifo cones and other things like that. Just learning how to do a simple high ground retake could be the difference in whether you win a fight or you don't. So I just recommend learning like Razor X high ground retakes and like a, maybe a little bit of phase sways high ground retakes and just implement those into your build fights and gameplay and you'll see instant improvement. 
Tip number nine is to play creative fill zone wars and box fights. Um, I recommend not going into game chat because it, things can get a little hectic, but um, I recommend just going into creative fill every once in a while and just practicing box fighting and zone wars. Those will help you out with those late game scrim situations where it's kind of stacked lobbies, you know. And it's also fun experience, and you're just learning a lot along the way, but you're also having fun, so... Um, it's also very easy to queue up for Creative Phil, just go on to Creative, and it says Create or Play, and you click Play, and then you automatically go on to Creative Phil, so... Just have fun, have a little fun with that. Now, trust me, as a controller player, I understand how hard it can be to improve sometimes, Sometimes you just feel like you've hit your limit, but maybe sometimes taking a break and coming back will help you out in the long run. It's not easy to improve, but just follow all these steps and maybe you'll start seeing improvement. Now, as always, if you guys did enjoy, please remember to leave a like on the video and subscribe. Share with your friends and um, use code code DragonClan, hashtag ad so I don't get arrested. But, um, so, yeah, peace.